I gave up on the Flash many years ago, but Noob Noob, you persevered. No, I took the Speed Force and ran right into the Grundle of Barry Allen. Speaking of Grundles, you are the ultimate Grundle because you survived nine seasons of The Flash. I mean, some of those seasons were good. How much did you laugh and cry and during just the grow. finale, I just kind of. No, I'm just talking about like this is a retrospective general, of the entire general, thing. Uh, none of the above. You never cried. I was like, oh, this show is like kind of good sometimes, and I enjoyed it in the beginning, and then towards the end, I'm like, this show is not really good at all. But it's it's trucking, it's trucking <laughs> it's along. Still going. It went longer than the Arrow, which was surprising. This went nine seasons. Arrow went eight, which. Arrow was also fading in the end, but all, all, all together, I thought Arrow was a stronger show. And this was just dumb luck that they survived. I, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I, I don't know. I feel like the Arrow ran out of places to go. It's just like the, what do you mean? Flash ran out of speedsters to fight. There's like only four, so many, you know, you're like four seasons ago. You know what we're The writers are like in, what was it? Season eight or season seven where God's be like, you know what we're going to do? We're going to have the Flash fight little tiny walking semen. <laughs> and that's what they did. They had them fight uh-huh. little tiny semen speedsters. And it was uh-huh. weird and uncomfortable because the CGI and the fight choreography were terrible. What was the big bad in this season? Uh, Jesus. Uh, the show itself? Um, <laughs> it was fighting itself. What was the big bad in the season? Was there, how many I'm episodes was it? 13. 13. 13 total. Abbreviated season. Shit, I honestly, it's not connected in any way. Like it's they just, just kind of little arcs. Uh, did Vibe ever come back? No, that was weird. That he was the never one vibed thing. Himself. Cisco did not come back for this the this final season at all, which uh, surprised me because every other human being that was ever did on this show, Kid Flash, come back. He did, as Kid, a tr- in his tree form. Uh, he did not. No, he was very zen and shit, though. He was like, I found my peace with the force. With the speed force. I won with the force. The force is with me. I won with the force. The force is with me. But he was not Asian. He's black in this. (laughs) What? Um, What do you mean? Donnie uh, Donnie Yen was the guy who did that in Rogue One, right? Remember the blind guy? He was like, I won with the force. The force is with me. I won with the force. The force is with me. You're on your own there, Chief. You don't remember that? Dude, Rogue One was not the a good movie. The blind guy. I mean, he was like, I'm just going to walk into battle. Yeah, I remember a blind guy who just gets shot in the face for no reason. Yeah, I think, that guy. I think he does die. Oh, of obviously. course he dies yeah. because he walked out in the middle of like AT-ATs shooting him in the face. Yeah. That's it, how you die. I, for the life of me, cannot remember what the beginning of the season was. It was separate from what the end of the season was because <laughs> they basically uh-huh. have a bunch of these mini arcs and they're not very engaging at all. I think the reverse flash was in it for the 40 millionth time. Crollo. Uh but the ending Lobo. was a four part new world story arc. It was four parts. And it was a lead up. They brought back Eddie Thawne. And uh, I liked Eddie Thawne. I thought Eddie Thawne was a good The original character. Yeah. And the original Thawne from the first season. Okay. I thought he was cool. Eobard Thawne. And uh, not Eobard Thawne, Eddie Thawne, the cop that what? was banging Barry's wife before Barry what? Ha- had her as his wife. So wait, they didn't bring back Eobard Thawne from the from the 26th for century? A smi- for a smidge. For a smidge. Uh-huh. And then they brought back Iris's first boyfriend? Yep. To for make him a speedster. What? <laughs> it's just like, yep. hey, I got a great idea. Let's make him a speedster. Did yeah. they ever make Joe Joe a speedster? They don't. Joe was barely in this season. He's like, I want to go move from the city and live in the Without suburbs. his new wife. Correct. He's like, I'm <laughs> going to take the child. Oh, he just took the kid. I'm going to take the child, Full live custody. there, and you're going to come visit me on the weekends. That was the arrangement. Right. So, and what was she doing? Was she like a district attorney still? Or she, she was, gave but she's up on like that? a full fledged superhero now who just keeps magically getting stronger. What's her powers again? Tele. Powers of pregnancy. Tele empathy or something? Tele empathy. I feel really sad for you and I can make you That's happy. That's how it started. And then by the end of the finale, she was flying like Superman. <sighs> she was like one of the most powerful people. What? It was weird. Like everyone just got amplified. The 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 weird little ugly tiny woman Allegra, 
who is uh, Light Vision or Light Smash or not sure who that Photon is Photon or something. Uh huh. Um, sh- I think she flew too. <laughs> everybody fly except Every- for everybody the Flash. Was flying. Uh huh. Shall we go to the IGN review of this? Sure. This is the finale we're so- talking about specifically. Season finale. Yes, at this point. Series. Whatever. Series finale. Couldn't be over soon It enough. sucks. <laughs> Only an hour long, which was weird. So this was like, this was two half an hour episodes. So the first half was uh, Eddie Thawne is basically the conduit for the negative f- speed force. And the negative speed force negative just speed force. wants to kill positive speed force so it can grow unchecked. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. The effects for this were... Top notch stupid. <laughs> like, like no more I stupid. I don't know. Like, I'm not sure if they did they, did they spend five dollars on it? They spent something on it. And I, th- I it's like, like it's like uh, I, iMovie I, After Effects. I would love to know if they did that on purpose because it is unbearably cheesy and terrible. Like, I thought the beginning of this season was really bad with the effects. This was on par. Like, this was 10 out of 10, the worst, by far. 10 out of 10, the worst. Uh, There was a lot of running and speedster running and lightning bolts throwing. And it just looked like a 10-year-old grabbed a computer program and started just coding it. Look, I'm running. That's what it came at. Oh, my God. It looked like... I'm so fast. Eddie Thawne, who is Cobalt Blue in this. Cobalt Blue? Why not? I'm running. Look how fast I am. He took a book from Ezra Miller's flash, and he looked like he <laughs> was skating? skating up Barry's butthole is what what he wanted. Um, and uh, it was a pretty quick ending because there's, there's three new speedsters. That's the that's the end end. That we're not there yet. Oh, so the Eddie Thawn thing just is like I'm gonna be the negative speed force because I killed myself and I want my life back and I want to have my <laughs> black wife and make babies. Uh-huh. And uh, then the Flash is like, hey, Eddie, you were a good guy. Don't do that. And Eddie's like, you know what? You're right. I, I, I was a good be guy. Good. So I'm not going to give up the negative speed force. But we're Why not did he kill himself in the... In to the stop Eobard Thawne from ever existing. Oh, that, okay. That's kind of Which brutal. makes sense in theory. Because that and, means he was a good guy. Yeah. And the, oh, no, he was a great guy in the, in the in the show. In the first season, he was he was a good guy. Okay. And then he comes back, still a good guy, and then magically gets corrupted and becomes evil. And it's like, I want my wife. And um, then, you know, Barry's like, hey, remember when you were good? He's like, oh, I, I kind of do. Apparently, originally, Cobalt Blue is actually Barry's long lost twin brother. Yeah, not very canically correct. Um,. So then this is like 30 minutes in and they're just Hold like on. there's a series finale features Cobalt Blue forming an alliance with Reverse Flash, Savitar, Teddy Every Sears, Zoom, to man. Karen Oberoi's Godspeed. There was a was that a chick or a dude? No, it's a dude. Reverse Flash. I why not just stick with the original Reverse Flash? Like it, it was just a way to bring back the speedsters. And Savitar was also future evil Barry. So he definitely was fighting himself too. What now, about he, Tom Cavanaugh? Was he in he, it? He was in it. Yeah. He was the bad Eobard Thawne in the Reverse oh, okay. Flash. But here's what's weird. So like all of these bad guys, so like Zoom and especially Savitar, a lot of these big bads from each season were super overpowered, destroying everybody. They needed like several convoluted plots and, and different strategies to, stop to, them. to even stop them. So then this entire lineup is fighting the weak little Flash team, which is some ice dude, some super powered light bitch, then the em- empathy woman who can now fly, and they're just wrecking them. What they're is Danielle Panabaker's role in all this? She's uh, She's got a lot of roles. I thought she this, left the show. No. Like seven times. She's had 12 different characters. I think that she turned Greg Berlanti straight for a day and recorded it. <laughs> <laughs> and, and that's she's how like, she's hey, like, you give me 12 characters basically, now. Basically, uh, her latest character was Keon, who we learn is a quite literal god. It seemed, yeah, remember god is a woman. Yeah, okay. Yep. She, Keon or Frost, just Keon. Keon was literally a goddess of earth is what we learned at the end. And the TLDR just for hype, Caitlin, everyone's hyper overpowered these days is she's the, there's the existence of alternate personality in her mind, Dub Frost. That okay, there was a period with the two personalities alternating control of her body, but after a clash with Mirror Monarch in 
series, yep. season seven. There's a lot of stuff. Frost was given her own body. Caitlin and Frost existed as twin sisters up until Frost's death in season eight. Caitlin built a machine to resurrect Frost's consciousness, only to wind up erasing her own mind and replacing it with a new personality, Keon. Okay. Yeah. She's a newly born human inside an adult body. Connected to the prime evil world. And yeah, this is too. No, nope. there's a lot. Mm, yeah, there's a lot. There's a little on. too much. So basically everyone's overpowered on Team Flash. They kill the super strong speedsters that are evil that are no longer super strong. And then uh, Barry and Eddie are like, you know what? We're going to be friends, kind of. And then they just stop. And they're just like, it's fine. We're good. We're friends. That's how the, the big China's climax. Flash. Who becomes China's Flash? What? Yeah, that one. Piper, oh, Curdy, Avery, Ho. Oh, we're my gosh. There we got there yet. So this is like the big bad. They just kind of have a gentleman's agreement. They're not going to fight. Super stupid. They're like, whatever. Uh-huh. Uh, this is all the while having the worst CGI lightsaber. They basically turned it into force powers. It's Star Wars. It's the speed Star force Wars. is force powers. Uh, uh, Harrison Wells' evil reverse Thawne Flash literally did... Uh, who's the bad guy in Star Wars? The evil old guy? Emperor. The Emperor? Yeah, the Emperor. He straight up did an Emperor move and force lightning <laughs> someone to death. He force lightning someone straight up from Star Wars. Uh, <sighs> Eddie literally had a force lightning lightsaber. Like, it was just Star Wars. It was uh -huh. shitty Star Wars. It was weird. <laughs> this is very weird. So then all the fighting stops. Everyone's happy. Everyone's good. And you know what we're going to end the series with? Babies. <laughs> Iris is having a baby. Isn't, didn't the baby come back in time? Yeah, the baby. So the Iris is having a baby while his future baby is during this to watch herself get born, which is weird. So she's playing with herself. So she watches her. So she watches herself come out of her mother's yep. vagine. And then she holds herself. She plays with herself. <laughs> she <laughs> Why is she playing with herself? She coddles herself. It's it's super uncomfortable. Oh, like for she's anti Nora. So, so that's a little weird. Then it's just one giant happy-go-lucky party saying, "Oh my God, everyone's happy. What's, who's we got Piper, babies." Piper, Curta, Avery, Ho. I don't know who that is. We're not there yet. <laughs> okay. We're not there yet. I thought so you then, said it was ending with babies. Yeah, we're, it, it does. So then there's this giant baby party, and everyone's all happy and together, and baby you know, party. hugging and scissoring and stuff. So then Harrison Wells, one of the one of the Wellses that transcended to a god, which I forgot about. He's oh, because like there's Wells. many Wellses. Okay. He's God Wells. The army of Wells. So then he comes to Keon, which is Daniel Panabaker's 30th character. And he's like, it's time. What's and, time? And uh, she then ascends. Keon. She then ascends into like the Etho space. Like, I don't, she just ascends okay. to being a god. And you know what they're going to do? They're going to bring back the original Caitlyn Snow because they're like, you know what? Let's have a happy ending for her. She's actually alive this entire time. Oh, so Caitlyn okay. Snow, OG, comes back and is like, hey, I'm still alive, guys. Love you. They hug. Everyone's good. But not Cisco. Cisco does not come back at all. Okay. What about Cisco's girlfriend? Uh, I think she died. Pretty well, sure right. she died. Cisco's dad. I think he's no. dead. No. Oh, Danny Trejo? S yeah. Cisco's yeah. girlfriend's dad. Nope, not he, awesome Danny dead. Trejo did not come back. Okay, <laughs> so then King that, Shark that, that part he did not come back. Okay, so that what, uh, oh wait, what about uh, Captain Cold? Nope, he did not come back. Come on, there's got to be somebody who came back that I know. Daniel Panabaker. <laughs> okay, who never actually left. Yeah, even though she said she was leaving, but she was like, really, yeah. I'm just playing 18 other characters. Daniel Panabaker. Um, <laughs> so that happens. She becomes Jesus or whatever, woman Jesus. Jesus. So then the ending ending is like the Flash is just having some monologue. He's like, you know what I want to do? I want to give back. I want to change the timeline. I want to change the world. Wait, isn't so he then always getting in while, trouble doing that? All the while he's just talking and he's running super fast. I'm like, oh my God, this looks terrible. <laughs> so then he takes a lightning bolt and throws it into the goddamn sky. Then it splits and apparently just gives flash powers to random diverse people. Oh. So, um, you know, for diversity and inclusion's sake, they're like, who do we want to give powers to? Asian. Check. Let's give it to an Asian. So that's Super who Piper Curtis Avery Ho. Yep. Super old American Indian dude. Check. I see that. Uh, uh, and yep. then black girl with white hair. Check. And then now they're flash people. And he's like, the world's in good hands. And with that's the it. flash it just people. Ends. Which they're never going to do a show it with. It just ends. 
Um, what now, it, presumably fair, the show. Okay, hold on. The Arrowverse has obviously done some tweak tweaking to that origin story i guess this is this is of the indian guy he doesn't hail from the 1800s but he does appear to be an american indian himself appear he's not may not be authentic presumably this is the show's way of avoiding the white savior trope and still acknowledging max mercury's link to american indian mythology right yeah to be fair all of these characters that got free flash powers in the sky uh are, do exist in some form or fashion in dc mythos but jess chambers <laughs> still a bit of a like you know what's going on here like why? they go by the name kid quick they oh, they yep i'm done first non-binary here <laughs> and let's cancel this review of the canceled flash show uh, there's no indication that dc will be continuing the flash or any other hour of our series now that cw has canceled these shows and pivoted in a less superhero driven direction that means reality tv that's very cheap yep maybe they're gonna resurrect the g4 t- uh, station good luck with yeah. that so uh, this 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 series finale was honestly hot garbage like it was bad it was convoluted it was a joke it was Effects old sucked. flash in it old flash. uh yeah he old was. man flash he was. Okay. He he's up. cool i like that guy he was um look at that bulge not a not a whole lot of good things to say about this to be honest this uh, does not sound like the uh Think what is that guy? Yeah, that's uh, Man Frost or whatever his name Man is. Fro- Man, Man Frost. Frosted Tips. Yeah, that's Frosted Tips. Okay. Yeah. Why does she look like he she's was, wearing a muumu? I don't know. She's basically just Jesus. She can do whatever she Jesus. wants. Jesus. Okay. It's people saying goodbye. Yep. Making out and stuff. I don't, there's that lady with superpowers. Super empathy. These people. It lets her fly. <laughs> Super empathy. She's so empathetic that she can fly into people's uh-huh. feelings. Who are these people? That's uh, that's the the light girl or photon or you know something. And her boyfriend. And her black boyfriend for diversity's sake. Uh huh. So I like Does that. Does he guy, have though. superpowers? He does not. What happened to Iris? You never told me. She has a baby. Oh, okay, so she's been fridged with a baby. And yep, that's it. Baby, and she's good. And there's a lot of that's the flash that's team semen boy, flash that's semen boy. zoomy zooms and uh, twelfth iteration of reverse flash. Gotcha. So, it sucked. It was super disappointing because this show used to be really good. Uh, the first four seasons were pretty good, and uh, the last five. Eh. Duh! This is sounds Not terrible. Great. Not great. I'm glad I watched all the way through. I didn't. No one just... reviews it. They just tell you what happens and don't actually say yeah. what it was. It was garbage, is what it was. But as far as hot garbage goes, what would you give it a rating? Uh, pff, the shit. hottest of garbage. Um, for the just the finale, probably like a three out of ten. Ten out of ten. Hot. It's the best hot garbage. Oh, the best. Oh, oh, in terms of hot garbage ratings, yes, ten out of ten. Ten out of ten for hot garbage. Real world, three out of ten. Three out of ten. It was it was real bad. There wasn't a lot of good spots, if wow. any. I mean, whoa, 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 Grant whoa, whoa, Gustin's whoa, whoa. kind of attractive, so there's that. And it's getting a little old. Oh, I'd let him run on me. Whoa, 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 whoa. So yeah. Any now other points over. that we missed? And now, are you sad now that the Flash? And I don't all have the anything CW to review over? for the CW ever so again. That's sad. But other than that, I'm not that sad. <laughs> You're not that sad that you have to. Wa- you don't have to watch this anymore. Does this feel like a chapter in your life is closed? Honestly, yeah. Eight years, nine years. I was watching this religiously. I used to love the crossovers. Uh, they were great. You know, the uh, Crisis on Infinite Earths, I think, uh, was a good one. That was only a couple years ago. Um, Is that where they went to, like, fascist? Mm, dude, it's gotten so convoluted, I forget which one's which. I, I don't think that was Crisis. Supergirl think- was the first to fall. Yeah, right. Supergirl got too woke too quick, and she uh, was like the early warning signs of woke. Like, yeah. oh my god, Arrow! I think just run its course. There was just no more story to tell. There's just too many Legends of Tomorrow. Oh yeah, another legend showed up. That's kind of rude. That's kind of rude. Um, you know that uh, that got unceremoniously canceled. Like they didn't have an ending. They Captain just kinda... Cold, man, he should have yeah. got invited back. He What's that in, guy's name? He died pretty easily. Um, what do you mean? Miller. He was in, yeah, Wentworth Miller. Yeah, but he he died in uh, Prison Break. No, he didn't. When he died in the uh, the show, you know, the thing. Yeah, the thing. No, but he died in the thing. Whatever, man. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, he died in Legends of Tomorrow, not in he the does. Flash. 
There's like 18 million versions of Caitlyn Snow. They couldn't bring back Wentworth They could have, but they're like, meh. And they good. were like friends before he died. So Second sad. Thing. Very sad. Oh, well. Well, I think that's enough of the Flash. I think we've done our last. No, it's our last Flash video because there's more Flash to come. I have a Flash short coming. Although it'll be out by the time this releases. But know. there's also a Flash movie coming. Oh, that is true. Which I have heard interesting things about. Can't wait to see it. It's Batman. Batman. It's a Batman movie. Batman. Anyway, be sure to check out our full-length audio podcast. It is for free to you on iTunes, Stitcher, Spotify, all those places and more. Absolutely free. Come check us out. We party every Friday night, live streaming here on YouTube, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We can also be seen on Rumble if you'd like to join us there. We also have an Instagram if you want to speak to us directly O-R-K underscore U on Rumble. We are Ork U, O-R-K-U. But from all of us here at Our Reviews, we'll kill you to all of y'all at home. We love all y'all. Thank you for watching. But we are on to the next one.